Hey, hello everyone. So welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the channel Tech World with Rajendra. And in this particular video, uh, we are going to talk about secrets in Kubernetes. Okay, so this is an, another interesting topic in our Kubernetes series. So in this video, we are going to talk about mostly on the secret. What is secret? Why it is used? What are different types of secrets we have? And how exactly it is uh, basically exposed to the pod. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. Let me just uh, share my screen. So what is secret? Okay, so if you talk uh, at, as a general term, so secret means basically a, a, any data which is sensitive. Okay, any data which is sensitive. So may, that may be a uh, username, password, okay, or um, your uh, Docker registry credentials or your certificates required, right? So what Kubernetes uh, secret object is doing is basically it will help us to First of all, secure all this sensitive data and make this data available inside the pod for your application, right? So how it does, that's something we are going to talk about it. So the first thing that we need to understand is basically how secrets are created in uh, Kubernetes, okay? So there are basically three types of secret we can create in the Kubernetes. So let's understand those secrets. So the first, okay, first type of secret is basically a generic, okay? We call it as a generic secret. So what is meant by generic? Generic means it's a kind of a very general purpose, like your username, password. These are a general purpose secrets we have, right? Then if you talk about, uh, okay, let me write here, username, password, okay? These are kind of a, a general purpose secrets, okay? Then second type we have is basically a Docker registry secret, okay? Docker registry secret. So what does this Docker registry set? Uh, uh, this basically Docker registry secret is uh, whenever basically we want to pull the image or push the image to some Docker specific registry. Okay, we need to we need some kind of authentication, right? So to provide that that authentication secret, Kubernetes provides a Docker registry kind of a secret. Okay, so we'll see more detail on that how we can work with that. And the third type of secret we have is basically a TLS, right? Again, nowadays, for the communication between two application, okay, the communication via SSL channel is something that is preferred, okay? So for that, we need certificates, right? And if you want some certificates to be available for your application to consume and then connect with any other application, we need to provide this certificate to your application. So this, third type of secret that is TLS, which will help us to basically provide that certificates to application. Okay. So yeah, these are the three types of secrets we have. Now let's talk about how we can create it and then how we can use this secret inside your, inside your pod. So let's see, I have all this stuff available on my Git repo. So let me just quickly explain you that what it is. So now, I'll, I'll just uh, copy this command and I'll, uh, okay, you, I'll also share all this uh, repo link along with all the commands and the example that we are going to use. So this is basically a command we use to create the secret, okay? This is the command we use it to create the generic secret. So here kubectl create, is, create secret is a command, then the type of secret, the name of the secret, and then whatever general purpose secret we have. So we can, with the help of from literal, we can provide that like here, username, db user, password, we have some password, right? So that's how simply we can create the secret. So we created a database secret, right? So if you want to see, once we create, if you want to see, we can use a kubectl, a describe secret, db secret, okay? So if you describe it here, you can see, it is saying that your secret got created, but what is exactly that value, actual value it is not showing. Instead, it is showing that, okay, it's a nine byte, it's six byte, okay? So it will not show you directly, right? Now we created a secret, how we can use that inside a pod, I'll, I'll just show you that, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I have a sample YAML file on my Git repo, I'm just copying that and I'll explain what it is. So let me copy this first. <clears throat> So pod.yaml I'll create, okay? And then let me just paste the content here. Perfect, so this is how typically your um, secret will look like, okay? So this is a sample pod.yaml. What extra we are doing is basically, 
we are exposing this secret as an environment variable. So we are creating an environment variable as a username. And for that, we are reading a value from a secret key reference where our secret name is DB secret and the key from which we want to read the value is a user. Okay. So let me just create this pod. So kubectl apply hyphen f pod dot yaml. So this pod got created. And if you log in inside this pod, kubectl exec hyphen it, uh, the pod name, that's a secret demo. And if you just use bash, okay, what happened? Do we have a, oh, it's a demo hyphen one. <clears throat> so we are inside the pod. And then if I just run the env command, you can see it is exposed, showing all the environment variable available inside that particular pod. But yeah, this is look at this one which we exposed. So that's how we made that general secret available inside. Okay, so let's see the next type. Okay, so the next type we have is basically a, your Docker registry secret. Okay, so how to create? So this is the command we use it to create it. So let me just first copy this command. And in fact, it got created as well. And let me just explain this. So here you can see what is the different kubectl create secret command, then type of the secret, this is a Docker registry, then the name of the secret, and where we have to pass all this detail, like okay, the email of the Docker, the username, okay, the password, okay, and then the Docker server, right? So all these details we need to provide, so it will create that secret. Now if I do kubectl get secret, now you can see this Docker secret got created, and we are able to see that okay, it get created as a, this is the type it is showing, okay? And then how we can use this inside a pod? Okay, let's copy the YAML file. <clears throat> so again, we are exposing that as a same, okay? As a environment variable. So let me just copy this. And I'll again, just remove the old pod.yaml and I'll just create a pod.yaml where I'm just going to paste the content. So here, what different we are doing? We can die. We are directly using an env from. Okay, where your environment will be a Docker secret, and the value of that would be a complete that for all the data that we passed, right? So you will be able to see that direct. So let me just save it and create this pod. So kubectl apply hyphen f pod dot yaml. So it got created. Let's log in inside it. So it's a demo two. So we are inside it. Okay, it's still not ready. Yeah, now it's ready. Let's go inside it. Now we are inside this. And now if I do run ENV, so here you can see we got that. Okay, whatever we passed as a Docker registry information. So all that we are able to see it here. Okay, that is exposed as an environment variable. So ideally your application, whenever it is trying to, or on this inside a container, if there is any Docker pool or anything going to happen, it will be using this particular Docker registry secrets. Okay. So let's go back and see the third type. Okay, the third type that we have is basically creating a secret of type TLS. Okay, that's again nothing difficult, different. So we just need to use this command. So I'm just pasting this command. I have to change the path here basically. So I have, uh, I already copied this certificates. Okay, now this certificate can be anything. Okay, as per your application requirement. So I have this uh, some already pre-existed certificate available on my machine. So I'm just try going to expose these secrets inside the pod, okay? Now, as per our application requirement, we should ideally copy the certificate and PIM file or uh, providing that as a secret inside the pod. But now here, I'm just copying any random, right? But whenever you are going to do it, make sure you are uh, getting that application related certificate and then providing it, okay? So let me just create it. So it got created, okay, what happened? Uh, fail to find any PEM data. Okay, so I think this, I just copied the, some random uh, secret. That's the reason it is kind of saying that, okay, the, the PEM file that we have is not in a uh, expected format. Okay, that's the reason it is uh, failing it. But let me just see if I can pass any other PEM file. Otherwise we can just go ahead and um, uh, create a separate PEM file and a separate CRT. So maybe uh, let me just quickly, uh, do that and then we can just basically um, perfect so I got the secret so that is something I have stored it in the root data so I just uh, 
got this API server.cit and API server.t. Okay. And this, this two certificate basically we want to expose this to the pod, right? So how to do this? Basically, we have to just do uh kubectl create secret. Okay. Uh we have to use the command kubectl create secret. So let me just type it or I can just simply copy that command. So this is the command I have. So what I'm going to just change, I am going to just change the API server dot key here and then API server dot CRT. Okay, so this is how the command, let me repeat the command, kubectl create secret TLS. So this is the type of secret, then our secret name, then whatever the secret file we have, right? So if I just create it, you can see the secret got created. Now, if I just describe it, kubectl describe the secret, my TLS secret. So you can see, Whatever the bytes of data we have in that CRT and key, that's what we are able to see it directly here. Okay. Now, how we are going to make it available? We are going to make it available as a volume. Okay. So for that, let me show you how your pod.yaml will look like. So let me just copy that quickly, just to avoid taking a lot of time. So I'll just first of all remove the old pod.yaml and then create pod.yaml here and then put the content here. Okay. So what we are doing, we are just creating one volume, okay? And the name of, we are creating this volume from the secret. Our secret name is my TLS secret. And then we are mounting that, okay? That volume data that we created here on a mount path etc cert data. So if you just create this, let me create this pod. Kubectl apply hyphen f pod.yaml. So pod got created. Let's log in inside it. So our pod name that we created is demo three. So now we are inside the pod and where we copied this uh, or mounted this volume, it's under etc cert data. Okay, so if you go inside it, whatever the cert and key that we, from which we created a certificate, uh, sorry, the secret, okay, those certificates we got here available inside the pod. Okay, so that's how uh, we can basically use the secret. Just to quickly give you a recap, we use secret to store any sensitive information and then make that sensitive information available inside the pod, okay? And there are three types of secrets we have. A generic secret, that is nothing but a username password, the Docker registry secret, which is more about uh, Docker registry details, and then TLS secrets, which are more about certificates, okay? Which we want to make it available to the pod, okay? So I hope everyone uh, understood the concept. So if you do like the video, please share and give a lot of likes, okay? And if you have any query, please uh, put it in a comments. I'll definitely answer your query there. So thanks everyone. And thanks for watching Tech World with Rajendra. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please uh, do subscribe. Thanks everyone.